Eight bucks an hour is what I'm worth Putting shingles on houses that I can't afford That's sixty-four for an eight-hour day A family of four can't live that way Hey, man. My name is Jack. Holiday. Yeah. Doc. And have you been here before? Uh, oh, sir, this is actually my first time here. Well, come on, let me show you around. Look, sir, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really care about the museum. I'm sorry, pardon me? Dude, me and my guys watched all your movies in college. They even started a fan club. You're not out here doing, doing a movie, are you? Um... <laughs> You are, huh? What is this, like a disguise or cover up or something? You know, with uh, actually with Hollywood, you know, when the virus thing happened in the West and everything, it's, it's kind of shut down right now. So uh, I'm actually I'm here making a living. I mean, it, it's not that I don't want to make movies, obviously. It's just, you know, making movies takes money. Getting the money is a job in and of itself. But hey, come on, let me show, let me show you around. Hey, what if I invested? I got about 5,000 in my savings. I'm sure we can make something happen with it. What, what's your name? Kay. Okay, well, look, I appreciate the offer. I, I do, but $5,000 is nowhere near enough. Look, if you give me about a day or two, I can make a few calls. I'm sure I can come up with something. I can even get you locations. I just ask that you bring me along with you doing this journey. Look, here's my number. Just, just think about it. If you change your mind, just give me a call. Hey, how did you know I was gonna be here? Hey, I need you to remove me from the website. Huh? The online stuff, I, I, I need it removed. The Facebook, why? It's a long story, all right? I, I, I just, I need to lay low for a while while I'm here. Jack, you're the basis of all the new marketing, man. That's impossible. Look. I'm getting a thousand of those printed up first thing. Man, the shutdown hurt. I gotta get some more people in here and having a Hollywood director is just the boost I need. Look, can, can you at least make the online stuff I don't know, a little less noticeable. Jack, killing me, man. Look, just just for a little while. All right, Dad. I've got some bad blood with some people out west. I just don't. I don't need them coming here and making trouble. What kind of bad blood? No, no, nothing major. All right, just a, like a quarrel, no business partner. Look, please. All right. Relax, Facebook post a little. Thank you. Anything? Nothing yet. Mail stacking up at its condo. There's no sign of them anywhere. Look, all of my Hollywood contacts say this guy's a joke. He makes horrible B-movies that uh, frat kids watch at parties and laugh at. What's so special about this guy anyway? I'm not paying you to ask questions. I'm paying you to answer them. He's around here somewhere. Find him. All right. I'll keep looking. What happens when I find him? I'm gonna kill him.
love me? Well, yes, my dear, of course. What's wrong? I've heard it all before, and I just end up getting my heart broken. I love you. I do. How can I prove my love to you? How can I prove my love to you? What's this? You asked how you could prove it to me. A will? Yes, if you truly love me, then it wouldn't be an issue, would it? Well, uh, uh, when did you, how did you? Oh, you're right, don't worry about it. It's, it's too much, too soon. You know what? I love you. And I hope this proves I need it. God, you are natural at this. Some of our best work. Yeah. Why don't we check out the view of the bridge? I may never get the chance to act again, so I'll just have to cherish this. Joanne told me to come over here. She thought she saw someone over here, get her to squatters or something. Uh, Joanne? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got remarried a couple of years ago. Uh, well, uh, it's just, just us. Oh, what brings you home? Oh, uh, you. Know, it's, uh, the thing shut down the way it is. Uh, and I just thought I'd come home and you know, recharge a bit. I understand. You know, this is the first pandemic I've lived through. Hopefully, it's the last. <laughs> Well, I've been keeping an eye on the house since the funeral. I've been keeping the grass trimmed and everything. Yeah, I noticed that. Appreciate it. Well, hey, hey, if you guys are doing anything tonight, we'd love to have you over for dinner. We won't take no for an answer. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do now. All right. <laughs> well, it's good seeing you, Jack. You too. All right. I talked to my roommate, you know, the one from college, the one I was telling you about. Look, he talked to an investor. He wanted to take you to meet him. But man, I, I don't know. Okay, so, uh, well, you got my number, man. If you change your mind or anything, just let me know. Yeah, yeah sure thing. Yeah. 
Look at the rack on this one. <laughs> I tell you, I love, I'm a titty man myself. I love the boobies. <laughs> Brother, you got it made. Wait, so how does all this work? Do they pay you or do you pay them? I can't imagine a photographer getting paid to take pictures of half-naked women. So I do that for free. That's enough. So, what's the word, Tweety Bird? I promise you, I don't know anything. I don't believe you. We, we, we worked together a few times. He still, he still owes me for the last session. I don't know where Jack is. I promise. He was worth the job, oh. but I'm not sure he knows anything. Yeah, what, what do you got for me? Oh. Hello? Oh. I found it. Oh. I found a friend of the wife who's worth looking into, oh. but I'll handle this oh. one for you. No, 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 no. You, you handle the uh, investigating. We handle what to do after that. All right? You call me when you find something. All right? Oh, by the way, my patients are real thin these days. Is that a threat? Car, very iconic. Um, um, you know, you might actually enjoy the tour a little more if you actually looked at the cars. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, man. Are you supposed to be the Hollywood director? Uh, yeah, I'm Jack Holiday. Uh, so, li so this is you. You, you did this. Hollywood. That's, that's one of my shows. Yeah. <laughs> This right here, this Hollywood. Oh, man. <laughs> this? <laughs> oh, man, that's great. No, no, that's my man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff, man. That's just. Oh, man. I saw. Like, they were just blowing this up on the radio like you was some Steven Spielberg or something, man. My, I just. I didn't expect this. Keep on, man. No, you're good. Go ahead. <laughs> like comedy? Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Funny to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, about, how about a little slapstick you, huh? Was that funny? Was that good? You like that, huh? huh? Maybe, maybe a little, I don't know, physical humor? Huh? I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you do this? Why don't you walk around, look at all the other cars, Jurassic Park over there. Why don't you walk around, look at all the cars yourself? I'm going to quit before I get fired. Friend of yours. 
set me up a meeting. It's the holiday. Good to see you. You don't know how many times we done watch your movies. Hey, it's crazy though. I didn't know you was from here. Caleb tells me you have a friend who might be willing to help me. He's not my friend. I kind of work for him, but I can introduce you to him. I understand your situation. We all must make some very hard decisions as we go along. These decisions are basically driven by circumstances, not normally our personal opinions or desires. But uh, it is what it is. No need of getting emotional about it. Besides, no one needs to know about our transaction here. Your husband will think uh, she just worked her pretty little magic again and made it turn out right for both of us. And that is a win-win situation. So what do you say? Okay, I'll do it. Wonderful. Rob, Rob, fix this lady up. My man, come on over here and have a seat. So this is the big Hollywood director. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of directors in Hollywood. I wouldn't describe myself as big, you know. I'm grateful for some successes. Bonnie Smith. Bonnie Smith. Well, my uh, colleague here. I highly recommended you. I've never heard of your work or your name, but I trust this young man's intuition. He's got a keen eye for opportunity, and, and uh, he's been very lucrative for me. I trust his word. I trust his word, and if he vouched for you, I got his back. So, how does 50 large sound? Low interest. That's a lot of cash. Yes, it is. I can make it work. Outstanding. Rob, fix up 50 large for my new business partner here. All right. All right. You know, uh, making movies is a risky business. So much depends on distribution and payroll. Uh, Rob, hold it a minute. I should have made this plain from the beginning. When you come to someone like me, it's with the understanding that you're bypassing SOPs of American corporate business. The business acronyms and systems and processes aren't exactly the same. If you walk out that door with my money, you, sir, are personally responsible. I, I appreciate the investment. I, I do, but I have to decline your offer. Making movies right now is a tricky, tricky business. I, I can't guarantee you a return. I can respect it. And I can respect your honesty. I can respect your honesty. I tell you what, you know where I'm at. If you change your mind, you know how to find me. All right, sir. 
Nice to meet you, sir. Hello? We good? Look, I'm afraid not, man. There's there's just too much risk involved. For real? Yeah. You still got that five thousand dollars? Uh yeah, I guess. Good. Let me call you back. anymore. I'm tired of running and hiding because you constantly screw people over. I belong in LA and I'm going back home. Honey, we're making a movie. What? We're making a movie. There's no way I'm to tell you. How? Where? I'm gonna film right here. And I found an investor. No funny business? Funny business. Joanna, I like to meet um, Jack and Katie. Katie is still here. Hi. Right. Hey, nice right. to finally meet Dana, the social distance Donnie. God, it reminds me. Anyway, it is nice to finally meet you guys. I know it seems a little bit much, but we huggers. We yeah, huggers, aren't like we? We southern, them. yes. So. Y'all come on in. I'm going to go get the shells and the tortillas. All right. Uh, ah. I'm back. <laughs> All right, just come on. Sit down. Jack, Katie. Make yourselves at home. Everybody's good. <laughs> Jeez. That smells good. <laughs> uh, so, 
some Katie. Uh, I didn't know old Jack here had gotten hitched. <laughs> I, I, how did you meet him? Well, we met when I auditioned for one of his movies. He invited me over for dinner that night, and the rest is history. Yeah. Uh, you know, wow. I, safe to say she got the role. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I tell Joanne all the time, this is the line between love and sexual harassment. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. Let's do it. Fantastic job, honey. Yeah. Smell it. 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 All right, DJ, let's just do this. Real good start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
back. I'll be right back. Okay. Right? <laughs> All right. Get that to me. Oh, thank you, honey. All right. Right back. All right. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> I got she kills. Oh, I got she maims. Oh, she bites. And look out, this is my favorite here. This is Lucy Black. <laughs> I just can't believe I'm standing in here with you guys, man. I'm so excited. Believe it, man. I take a seat. We'll have uh, we'll plenty of time to sign those later. But now we gotta make one. This is it, guys. Officially our first production meeting. First thing we have to do is assemble a crew. So who'd you tell you? Well, I got my cousin. He shoots uh, music videos and things like that. He's pretty good with the camera, and he's down for it. Okay, all right, good. Um, anybody else? I have a few. They're willing to volunteer. Uh, they never done anything like this, but they're excited for the opportunity. Well, you know, I expect the challenge like never before, but uh, I think in the end, it's gonna be all worthwhile. Uh, what about the cast? But I've contacted a few casting agencies, and uh, they said as soon as we schedule an audition, to let them know. And what about the script? What movie are we doing? Man, please send me she kills for. <laughs> please, <laughs> man. Yeah. I've got something in mind. I promise you're gonna love it. Cool. Hey, uh, Jack, can I have a quick word with you? Just real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I don't have the 5,000. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I had a family emergency come up, and when Marlon told me he found an investor, I kind of had to use all the money. <laughs> It'd be nice if you lubed it up first. <laughs> huh? Nothing.
don't have a script. And what do you mean you don't have a script? I mean, script? I don't have a freaking... I don't have a script. My wife was gonna leave me, I panicked. It wasn't about the money. I knew the money wasn't gonna be enough. I just... She caught me off guard, and I had to make a decision. I forced myself to believe I could get this done in five thousand dollars. It's it's such a problem. Right? It, it's I'm just disappointed in myself. <sighs> Look, I've got this idea about how you can get the rest of the money. It's risky and sure as hell ain't smart. Look, I can help you out. No, no, I, I can't let you do that. Look, man, I don't have much to look forward to. Now we gotta do this movie. Don't count me out of it. I'm hoping for once you have some good news for me. They can know where he is. Dug that up online. Seems he's been there about a week. Tennessee. Yeah. You know, I uh, mysteriously got a text from Jack last night. He contacted you? Yeah, he said that he has my money, but he's uh, out of town at the moment. Jack is so full of it. He reeks. He's stalling, if you ask me. Looks like we got a long drive ahead of us. place I was other than my house where I could have lost it. You're more welcome to come and look for it. Are you sure? I don't want to bother you. Jack, I've had to put a woman in a towel before. <laughs> come on in and look around. Let's see. 
Doug, I don't think it's here. No. Well, you better call and cancel it just to be safe. And if I find it, I'll give you a call, okay? How about that? What the? What the hell? Am I seeing? Oh, hell no. Stop. No, no, whoa, whoa, stop, 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 stop. Okay, just, you put the gun down, okay? Just. Jack, what's going on? Just, just put the gun down and let me explain. You know him? No, I don't want you to do anything rash, okay? That's bullshit. Something ain't right about this whole night. Just let me explain. Just stop it. How about I call the police? Yeah. Tell them how I shot two assholes that tried to break in and rape me. What? Rape? No, Joy, come on, look, look please, just don't, 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 just put the gun down, we'll, we'll work something out. Just don't call the cops, please. We'll, we'll, we'll do anything. Right? You're right. We'll do anything. Anything. We'll, we'll pay you, we'll, we'll work it off. Just, just please, don't call the cops, okay? Just. I'll take me some of that. You can prove it like that. What the hell, man? What? Jack, look at me, Jack. I can't go to jail. I got freckles. You know what they'll do to me? Give me the box. Look, never speak of this. This night never happened. So what now? First thing we gotta do is post this. The sooner we find a buyer, the better. I'm sorry about this, all right? I, I, I never expected this to happen. Man, if we get this movie done, I guess it was all worth it, huh? I think. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. We got a big day tomorrow. Man, what else? I think I need to detox. Are you all right? Great. It's been 30 minutes, right? Nobody's shown up yet. We wouldn't have to wait this long in LA. Just saying. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit creeperish to put our home address on the casting call. I'll, uh, nobody's shown up. I'll, I'll call a casting agency in the morning. I, I got something I gotta do, all right? I'll, I'll talk to you later. Found a buyer. So where to? I'll just drive. I'm waiting on a reply. So? We put the word out, but we ain't heard nothing yet. You know what? There was nothing random about this. Somebody either knows my operation or they don't know me at all. Put the fillers out. 
let's say anyone who we've done business with in the last 30 days, go check them out. See what kind of vibes they give you. I trust your intuition. Just can't stop thinking about last night, man. <laughs> Whatever this guy shows, we'll have all the money we need, all right? And years from now, when we're celebrating our success, it's all but just be one wild tale. I'm just more my words with you. It's a freaking kid. What? Just stay here. Keep the car running. Xbox Guru 2. Yeah? You got what I asked for? You got the money? Got some big kahunas, kid. Stop me from, you know, walking over there and just knocking you down and taking your money. It's the same thing stopping my friend in the woods over there from taking your head off at the 30 odd six. You here to screw around, you're gonna make a sale. This isn't leaving my hand until I get paid, all right? So if you want to come over and look at it, you can. Follow that kid, man. Go, 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 go! He's, he's, oh. yeah, okay, we gotta turn around. We gotta turn around. He's not. Ah! 
Low. Jack, we had an awesome turnout. What? The auditions. We just finished. I, I, I don't understand. Right after you left, some people started knocking on the door and they showed up to audition. It was a lot of people. It was so much fun. I recorded each one with my phone and I told them that we'd be in contact soon. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, uh, babe, that's, that's, that's great. I, 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 I got a few more things I got to do here, but I'll be home soon, all right? <laughs> okay, love you, babe. Some people showed up to audition after we left. Did you know that Texas was its own country back in the 1800s? I thought we took it from Mexico. Let's uh, make it to Dallas. We'll push the rest of the way tomorrow. Hey, Lori. When's the next available flight to Tennessee? How many of them have immediate availability? Uh, it looks like we have about eight with immediate availability and some of the, some of the no's are flexible. All right, all right, that's good. Jack. Yeah. Where's the script? How can we cast when no one has seen the script yet? I have the script. Right here. Oh, you mean to tell me you never heard of a script? All right, we're gonna film this thing totally improv using plot points, or no rehearsals. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, follow me here, okay? We're in the midst of a pandemic, right? All right let's capitalize on this. All right, I think the Corona Killer. All right, the. Call the ones who have media availability to tell them their cast. I'll need them here by tomorrow. Wait, don't you think we should watch the videos first? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to totally experiment. Right. Okay. What if they ask to see the script before they accept? You cancel any idiot who doesn't trust my vision. All right, let, let them make, you know, commercials for accident lawyers for the rest of their careers, all right? Who else is coming around here making movies, all right? Nobody. You know, in fact, if they don't sound excited on the phone, hang up on them. Right. I don't need that type of negative energy on my team. Uh, you got to have vision. Okay. All right, look, we'll, we'll put them up in, in rooms and, and, and give them uh, money for gas and, and uh, yeah, tell them to plan on four days production. That's it? <laughs> That's all we'll need. Uh, okay. Jack. Yeah. Sweetheart. Who's financing this? Don't worry about that, okay? I've got you covered. Look, you just call the cast, tell them to be ready. Okay, call the crew, tell them we're jumping in head first, all right? We are making a movie! Hey, man. Hey, where you at? I just excited about your house. It's my bed, bro. I'm back here. Hey, Jack, I'm about to start with that. Then what? Oh, we're filming the movie, man. We're finna get ready to start this production meet now. A movie? Yeah, Jack Holiday. So you saying he found him some money? Bro, that's a long ass story, bro. But he's making it happen, bro. Step by step. Okay, hey, I might come through, come check it out. Okay, bro, we'll love to have you, bro. All right.
just in case. Donnie, I have no idea. No one's been here. No one has been here. Gosh. Donnie. Talk. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. I need you to be straight up with me. Yeah. What? what what's up? Uh, I mean, what's what's going on? What happened to the box? What? The box. The box. The anniversary gift I showed you. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, what, what? What happened? Well, it went missing. Joanne doesn't know anything. Huh. Oh. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to tell you, brother. I, I, you, you're the only person that saw it. I mean, you know where it was. Come well, on, I, man. Listen, I, I don't know what you're trying to say here, but we think I broke in over there and stole it or something? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mind, something's just, mean, something's just not adding up. Uh, no, that's, that, it, hey, we're cool. You, you, you yeah, good? You good? You good? Cool. Maybe maybe misplaced it, or or maybe oh. I don't. Know, you have some visitors or something. Joanne said she didn't have any company. I don't know. Uh. Oh my God! It was supposed to be the perfect night. It was a seminar. It's, it's, everything's just. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm, no, sorry. No. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can, can I just? I'm, okay. Yeah. You good? We're good? We're good. We're good. It's fine. You enjoy your night? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Hey, don't worry about it, man. I'm, I'm sure it'll pop up. Uh, it'll, you'll find it. Oh. How you doing? You here for a tour? Uh, not exactly. Is uh, Jack Holiday around? Unfortunately, no. Biggest waste of time ever. What do you mean? 
I had to let Jack go a few days back. He completely spazzed out on the customer. I mean, the main reason I had Jack here was to bust the place up a bit. It's a freaking tragedy. Hmm. You know where I might be able to find him? You, you know I didn't catch your name. Clint. Clint Holmes. Clint? Look, uh, Jack's in some trouble. I really need to find him. Man, I, I can't help you. I mean, he may be on the way back home as far as I know. Anybody else come around here looking for him? No, I mean, you're the only one. I won't be. Jack's got some pretty bad dudes looking for him. Pretty sure they're gonna stop by here too. Just a heads up. And how do you know all this? I used to work for him. By the way, I was never here. Hello. Hey, Sarge. I think I got something. All right, spit it out, man. I searched all the pawn records within 60 miles. Nothing stood out. I hit refresh about 10 minutes ago, and I got a hit in Henderson. But it's listed as jewelry other, unknown jewel. What pawn shop? I'll text you. All right, thank you. I owe you one. Oh, don't worry about it. Enjoy your vacation. Stop working so much. I'll try. Thank you. No problem. Mr. Holliday? Hey, yes. I kind of just want to run through this again. I'm kind of nervous about it. Okay, sure. Okay, so we're moving into this new place to start a business. Correct. It doesn't say what kind of business. Oh, it's it's a massage parlor. A massage parlor? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're you're both recently qualified massage therapists, right? So, we've opened up this place to live out the American dream. Okay, I guess. You're you're both actors. Okay, you're you're artists. All right. Don't be limited by what's on this page here. All right. Become the characters. Let the characters do the talking. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for the opportunity. No problem. Hey, hey. Where's my TV? The what? The, the camera guy. I'm not sure he's supposed to be here by now. Look, he's like a freaking hour late, all right? Just give him a call and see where he's at. Oh, thank you. Hey. Hey. I just got off the phone with Joanne. Joanne. And she's making lunches for the production. I need someone to go pick him up. Hello? Hey, man, do you mind? No, uh -uh. I'm not doing it. I can't, I gotta be here. I need someone to pick up these sandwiches. I can help if you want me to. I mean, that's okay with you. You're gonna have to. It's perfect. perfect. No, no, look, his scene's not till later in the day. So, we can, we'll, we can work around it. Okay. And what's the address? I have it written down in the back. Okay. Found my DP.
I know it needs a little work, but this is it. It needs more than a little work. Yeah, I don't know. Are you sure this wasn't a scam? I know it sounds crazy, but everything is legit. This is ours. So let me get this straight. This guy signs a deed to this place over to you because you seem sad. Yes. Okay. He overheard me getting denied at the bank and I guess he saw how heartbroken I was. He started telling me about this place. He said he was stuck with it and that he had a hard time selling it. Gave it to us free and clear. Look, the deed is real. I'm sorry, Jack. Cut, cut, cut. What? Am I just supposed to pretend that I have a deed? Uh, well, you don't have the deed. Uh -oh. Where's the deed? Jack, you didn't say anything about one. Okay. okay. Just a piece of paper, something, anything. Okay. All right, everyone back to one. Hey, Caleb, where is my serial killer? I haven't seen him since he left for you know who. Mr. Holiday, about that food. Yeah. I had to get out of there in a hurry. You might have to order some pizzas. <laughs> okay, look, just go wait in the stage and I'll take care of it. What? Mr. Holiday. You must be the security guy. Look, we've got this place booked for a couple more hours, uh, but I'll give you a holler and so you can lock up, okay? Unfortunately, I'm here on a more pertinent matter. Uh, can we talk outside? Um, yeah, sure. So, how can I help you? Tony Bellucci. He's coming to Jackson, and he's coming to kill you. I see. And, uh, you, you know this how? Because he hired me to find you. Okay, I see. So what, you just found me here and decided to rat me out? No, I found you in L.A. With this. So what, now you just got to come in and... Rub it in my face? I came here to warn you. Look, I did what I was hired to do, but I have a little bit of an issue with what he plans to do to you. My guess is he's going to be here tomorrow. Uh, look, it was really good to meet you, Mr. Holiday. Yeah. I, uh, Love your films, man. I'm a big fan. So hopefully it'll all work out. Uh, very kind of you. Thank you. Ma'am?
Who was that? It's just a fan. Hmm. It's a... Uh, go back in here and wrap this up. Okay. Let me guess. We're looking for Jack Holland. I like you already. Let me save you some time and questions, okay? Like I told your employee earlier, I fired Jack a couple of days ago, all right? I don't know where he is, and I don't care to know. My employee? Yeah, tall, dark-haired guy. Look, he said you'd be coming by, okay? And I'm telling you like I told him, Jack isn't my problem anymore. Now, if you don't mind, the museum is closed. We uh, totally understand. Our apologies. The Corona Killer, scene four, take one. And action. Ladies, I understand. I know this sounds crazy, but trust me. I have a good feeling about this place. At least somebody does. Amen. What's the address here again? Um, 2020 Corona Avenue. This place is a dump. This place is free. A few hours ago, we had nothing. A little positivity, please. I think something happened here. Something like what? People were killed here. What? Cut, 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 cut. What, what, what happened, what? My battery died. What the, we'll just, okay, switch them out so we can finish the scene. I don't have any more. Come again? I used all the batteries I had. First year and a half late, and then you get your battery. Yes. <coughs> I'm right. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize, everyone. <coughs> I'm under a lot of stress right now, okay? I just I apologize for my outburst. I'll tell you what, let's just, let's call it today. We'll wrap for today and then we'll pick it up first thing tomorrow and ready to get at it, okay? All right. We'll see y'all later. Y'all be careful. I'm sorry. That is that was totally unprofessional and unacceptable. It's, I'm I, are you okay? Yeah. Man. You know, making movies is really stressful. I mean not I can remember the first time my director choked me. It's a way to show you they care. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. What the hell was that? I lost my cool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Kelly, do you mind taking Katie home? I, I've got an area and I need to run. And it's just better if I do it by myself. I just gotta meet someone, all right? Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. I'm good. Right. Russ, where you at, man? Hey. Hey, Russ, come on. I know you're here, man. I saw your car outside. Where you at? Russ, we gotta talk, man. Come on, man. Where you at? Hey.
Russ. Man is going to do that for you. Hey. Russ. 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 Oh, God, help me. So where you from? Excuse me, mister? Pardon me? You from here? Oh no, I'm uh, heading back home to LA. I knew it. I tried to buy a bus ticket down here at the station. I bet you went to the one on Main Street. Yeah. <laughs> They've been out of that place for years. And for some reason, the internet hadn't found out yet. You know, it's not too far from where I work. I can give you a ride if you like. I mean, my lunch hour was about up anyhow. That'd be nice of you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you gonna ride the bus all the way home? That's a long ride. Yeah, um, you know, other than Vegas, I can't tell you the last time I've been outside of California. So, I'm looking forward to hopping on this bus and taking in the sights. Well, honey, you came to the wrong place for some sights. Ain't nothing around here. As a matter of fact, I met two guys earlier, looking for some museum. They were from out that way. From L.A.? Mm-hmm. They filled up at the service station, asking me about some museum I ain't never heard of. Was one of them taller and the other one short and stocky? Yep. And that tall one, he talked kind of funny. You know him? Yeah. <laughs> well, look at that. Small world. Mm. Well, I can give you that ride now if you're ready. Mister, you, you ready? Uh, yeah.
Madison County. I noticed on the Palm Records submitted yesterday you you had some kind of gym brought in. Freaking you. Stolen, ain't it? I won't know until I see it. Well, the kid and his brother brought in the day before yesterday. I gave him $900 for it. Got that information? Got the oldest one. All right. There it is. I am going to get full rest juice from this time. I'll get it to you. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. Hey, Jack. Yeah, I got uh, Marlon here with me. He wants to know if he can help out on set today. Um, got some time to burn. Yeah, sure, why not? You know, he's used an extra set of hands on set. It'll be a long day anyway. You good? Oh, yeah, yeah. We just, something came up. We got to speed up production a little bit. You know, limit takes. Get in a few extra scenes here and there. But just be ready for a long day. Talking about man, um, can you leave? Can you see that? Uh, you were under arrest for pawning illegally. Oh boy, boy, boy. Uh, I, I have a brother. Uh, he asked me to pawn that thing for him for a couple hundred dollars. Come again? My my brother. He gave me a couple hundred dollars to pawn that thing for him. Um, he's too young to do it himself. How old are you? I'm 18. I just turned 18. My birthday was Wednesday. Okay, where's your brother? I don't know, man. He, he comes and goes whenever he wants. People were killed here. What? Yeah. Look. <laughs> Please tell me you know this man. This is the guy who gave us the building. What? I'm sorry, ladies. I didn't mean to startle you. I just came by to see how you're liking the place. We just came by to, to look around. Yeah. We'll leave. Oh, no, 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 no. No need to leave because of me. Like I said, I just came by. We were leaving anyway. Come on, girls. I think I'd like you to stay. And cut. How was that? Uh, that's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and, and get ready for the next scene. Wait, you don't want us to run it again just to be safe? Nope, no need. Let's, let's keep this thing moving. All right, um, we need an extension cord. Uh, Marlon, would you run in and get one cable from the table where they're at? Hey, man, you know what it is? Uh, James' car is in the parking lot. Uh, Red Jeep, since cars are in the back.
Ready to shoot this next scene? So everybody get ready for action. Hey bro, I gotta go. Everything good? Yeah, something came up and I gotta head out. Well, let me out of Jack real quick. I can probably get us a quick picture. No, no, man, it's all good. I'm about to head out real quick. I'm gonna catch up with you later. Alright, everyone in place. Alright, Okay. Alright. This guy amazes me how full of horse shit he is. Right here in his own backyard, no one has a clue who he is. He sure fooled me. Yeah. I told him. I wouldn't be mad if you made the movie you described to me. If I lost my investment, that's like that's for like art, you know? But then he takes my money and makes that piece of shit. Can't even pay me back? He lied to me. He took my fucking money. Made a fool of me. Made me a fool. You think you went back to LA? Who knows? We got uh, two more addresses to check. We'll go from there. What is it? Country food. People eat this shit every day. What about restaurants? I don't know why you don't live here. Ah oh, man, uh, I, I just sold him a vehicle and uh, you know I left something important. Just cut the act, man. I just counted eight years in the joint. I know bullshit when I see it. So you're looking for him. Why? I don't give a shit. I mean, I'm not that close anyway. But uh, my time is money. in town. He's over on Aspen Lane in the county. Second house on the left. Sorry to interrupt you. Wait it out. See if he turns up. How many of them are there? Quite a few. A bunch of actors, some nerds. But ain't no threat though. I want you to head out there. Keep an eye on Jack. Don't take your eye off of me. I'll call Rob and Coy. They'll be coming out that way. All right? Yes, sir. Well, that too. Thank you.
Hey Jack. Hey. How much longer are we shooting today? Oh, uh, not too much longer. We'll shoot maybe a couple more scenes and then call it a day. All right. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get back to you in about ten minutes. I'm gonna go take a leak. Yeah, he ain't here. He must have left for something. I mean, all the actors here, but he ain't here. Waiting on Jack right now. Uh, for real? Yeah. Where he go? Probably just outside, scar or something. All right, cool. His wife go. His wife. Girl, what's going on? Go. I really want to know who 
are those after? Why are they after us? God's just trying to build a better life for us. <laughs>
I may have some more questions for you soon. Officially over. Case is closed. That's a shoulder. I don't live. It's a Katie lift, yeah. Well, Joanne cooks seafood and I'm hungry. And if she asks, tell her that I invited you, but you had other plans. Now 